Hey guys, so my previous video was where I read the drama story, Who the F Was I Talking To? If you haven't seen that video, I suggest you go watch it first before this one. But if you have, then keep watching since I will be interviewing the OP from that drama story. Okay, interview time. Let me call OP right now. Oh my god! We're gonna hear OP together. Hello? Hello, hello. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Hi! <laughs> what should I call you? Well, I'm Ram. You can call me Ram. It's okay. OP is Ram. Okay. Just making you say it so I don't like... <laughs> I'm allowed to say Ram now. Okay, cool. Hi, Ram. <laughs> thanks Hi, for Thanks for joining. Thank you for so, having me. Thanks for like the two stories you submitted. Uh, I love... Honestly, like... I love the sass. I don't do like the whole drama thing. So you giving me a platform to healthily experience my frustration with some of these bitches is like, oh my God, am I allowed to say that? Yes, yes. I've said it okay. all throughout the story. You're allowed <laughs> to say it. So like you giving me the platform to express this in like a healthy one and done type of situation. I appreciate it. So honestly, thank you. Oh, that's so sweet. You have some really nice words to say at the start of the story. So thank you for that also. Of course. Let's get into the questions. Oh, I'm scared. What now. <laughs> what made you realize Mist was an alt when you looked Mist up? So I am actively designing a house, right? And this is important. So I'm on it. This commission that I'm working on right now is on JP Data Center. It's on Tonberry and Elemental. And mm -hmm. I AF I tap out a lot. So when I'm designing, I look at my inspiration pictures and then try to copy like certain angles and details from the IRL references that I'm working with. And so I had forgotten that I had the game minimized. And then I opened another client and I logged in on my main character, which is on Dynamis right now because I did a center um, transferred. So when I looked at my taskbar, I was like, wait, I was today years old when I realized that you can have more than one freaking client open at the same time. And remember, I, didn't I know said, that. yeah. So remember when I said Mist was always like mysterious, they never really did much, right? So mm -hmm. when I noticed that, I was like, okay, wait. If you can have more than one client on, it just adds more into perspective. Now, when this whole story was happening, I had no knowledge of this. But at the time, what made me realize was that one, they only had the, the job, which I think I said was Monk boosted at the time. Now, mm -hmm. when I switched my accounts, um, some other, something else happened that made me lose my old account that I was using at the time. So I played dancer and all my healers. So of course the bitch was not going to level those things manually. I fucking skipped everything. And yeah. you get the augmented Crypt Lurkers gear, I think, when you mm -hmm. boost. And Mist also had those things. So looking at all of those, I was like, yeah. And then when I found out that you can have multiple accounts open at the same time, I was like, yeah, this bitch was really on some type of dumb shit so <laughs> that's what you know yeah so wait did miss just stand in limsa always afk not only in limsa like miss would be in the party with us and you know when you teleport because i remember the night when me and miss was left alone we were in ulda by the ether ether right there so we were in ulda around there so yeah he would just teleport on both characters and only move around on his aura sometimes and miss would just be standing there with arms folded or whatever pose they used on the character at the time oh my gosh that's so weird mm -hmm. after this all happened did you ever talk to mist again to mist yeah to um, mist. yes so uh, during the whole them running away debacle mm -hmm. i had actually i forgot to include this in the story um, but it was already capped out and I didn't want to go back to edit. So I was like, I'll just wait for, you know, the interview or whatever. So I had mm -hmm. message Miss on Discord. Um, and Miss gave me their Discord, but they also said, so this Discord is for my real life. So as soon as we're done talking, I'm going to be deleting you. I was like, um, huh? kind of weird. So but, weird. Okay. Like, why would you? give it to me in the first place if you're gonna like i'm gonna know about it no that's kind of yeah but i wasn't gonna go back and forth about it so i 
added them on discord and i talked to them about that whole situation and they were like yeah it's kind of it's kind of weird because i don't know leaf to be like that he's always been like in my head right now i'm like bitch well if, of course that's the fucking character that you were pretending to be of course you wouldn't but anyways so they were like <laughs> i didn't know leaf to be like that but mm -hmm. the one thing that kind of strikes me is that if you're really good friends with somebody right and right. someone is telling you things about their inconsistencies or things that you should look at and say okay no normal person in their right mind is going to go through all of these things and if you on the receiving end of that is not bothered by it or have nothing to say in response to the information that you're being told i'm gonna call you out for bullshit because it's either one you're an accomplice you're you know about the shit that they're doing or you're just as fucked up so yeah. i was like okay cool and after that it was that was that miss um told me that i would talk to i would talk to leaf about it and let you know um if he says anything obviously you never got back to me and that was just the end of the, that was the end of me talking to, to mist do you say okay was there with leaf with how leaf talked was there certain things that leaf would do when you talk to different people they do mm -hmm. certain things like i'd say with me all my friends could say like oh yeah patrick always does this kind of emote she when she types in chat she always like says a sentence hits enter mm -hmm. says another sentence hits enter so like with leaf did you notice any kind of style and uh did Zachary mist also Potter have a certain style that was similar um okay great question so with leaf being as he was an rp -er, he kind of always got into the habit of responding and paragraph type messages usually with all the pronunci not pronunciations but all the um punctuation marks mm -hmm. sorry so that was his style now remember i said um miss didn't really talk too much so it would be it would have the same paragraph style as well as punctuation style but it was never continuous back and forth it was just like one message in response every five minutes or so so that's how it went with miss so that's why i couldn't really use that as like a key thing to see that mm -hmm. okay well there's some similarities here mm, i see i see it's just like a generic kind of way of replying yeah for both parties much. okay there's a part in your story where you said you know everything was great for a week and i wanted to ask you like how was that week like when it was great like what did you guys end up doing and stuff um well leaf was a very romantic person i will give him that um so he would from his rp obviously in stories he'll go to different locations and stuff so he would take me to some of those locations depending on the time of day and we just chat and have fun like i remember one time and i even started doing this i kind of stole this from him but i thought it was really sweet that whenever he took me to like a new location um on the different days he would always pull out the i think it's the picnic basket mini in um, and put it on and i was just like oh my god like y'all I'm so <laughs> mad at how this story ended because like there in the start there was so much like genuinely that first part his first like man pulling me in was so sweet like a bitch I missed that you know I want that back so it's just romantic little things like that to be honest I see did he ever try to role play with you no because I told him I didn't role play and mm -hmm. I'm gonna sell myself out I'm not I don't care y'all bitches can judge me but I have ERP you know i have yeah. um i don't think him and i really got to that point because like i said with him even when we initially started talking we weren't doing the whole fishing for compliments throwing compliments at each other like i don't yeah. care about that shit. like you can meet someone else after me and tell them the same shit that you told me so i'm not using that as my base to know if someone's like really fucking with me or not like if we can have an actual conversation where we're talking about talking about other shit with meaning and substance that does way more for me so that's always been the type of thing that we had going um so no we never did that like he respected me not wanting to get into whole R the whole rp thing mm -hmm. but i did tell him that i do have some kind of lore for my character in my head 
um, but I just never put it on to like paper or a card or anything because I just didn't want to. A bitch was lazy. That that's it. I'm too lazy to, to do it. <laughs> and what were some of the things that happened to make you believe things were getting serious? Like, was it clarified whether it was like a relationship in the role play in game world or more of like IRL relationship? I do think this is kind of like a gray area because um, when I asked them to go out the night when we made it official, I mm -hmm. never specified if it was RP. So I'm, I don't know if to him it was just like an RP thing. Um, but again, this is kind of also the reason why I asked him what was his preferred relationship mm -hmm. style and all of that. Like I was, I'm not the type to try to change anybody like i want to compromise i want to be able to make shit work out because i like i don't like doing the extra shit so i never specified it so i guess that was something that was open in the air which i yeah. think if either one of us had clarified things might have gone differently but at the same time he also told me that okay we're gonna do this whole monogamous thing so had him be with the person that he was with while I tried to visit him and they ran away. If he had something going on, that's still kind of deceitful on his end because he told me, okay, if there's something going on with other people that's not strictly platonic, you literally told me it would be easy for you. Like just mm -hmm. end it, you know? Yeah. So if he did end those other relationships and he didn't tell me about that one, then then it's kind of like, okay, well, yeah, it's kind of fucked up. Yeah, that's true. I, I definitely think Leaf said certain words to you that made you feel like it was like a, a serious relationship between you two because he was like I would mm -hmm. if if I got with you I will end all my relationships like yeah. he was the one and who I said told it him you, didn't, you didn't have to do that like I said right you don't exactly have to do that. and he knows you, you don't role play so like a role play in game relationship is not really like your thing yeah. Have you spoken to Mr. Aura? I wanted to ask <laughs> the guy <laughs> from the last story. Have you ever spoken to that guy again? Um, thankfully not, but <laughs> I am still really good friends with his ex-girlfriend and she's like one of the best friends that I've ever met in this game. She's so sweet. She's bomb as fuck. Um, and I just, I just appreciate her so much. So even if he were ever to like reach out to me again out of respect for my newfound friendship with her mm -hmm. i wouldn't even give him the time of day so no oh okay absolutely not then all right are you um seeing or talking to anyone now that's a male aura in the game <laughs> um well seeing that no 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 not in that way i'm more so I'm not that social anymore because of these two situations. I think after Mr. Aura happened, um, I was like, okay, let me not prejudge people and situations because not everyone is a, a terrible person. So mm -hmm. it would be unfair for people that I'm meeting to put those things on them when they haven't done anything for me to judge them or perceive them that type of way. So I was like, okay, I give um, this one a chance. I give Leaf a chance. And I was like, Okay, well, after this, and seeing that I was so open and trying to be as understanding as possible, like when I was in that VC with him, I was my blood was boiled. I was heated. I really wanted to get super disrespectful and just not be mature about the situation because I felt like I was getting so played with. Like, I, I'm giving you so many opportunities to, you know, talk to me and just literally mm -hmm. just be honest. And I didn't right. get that. So after this situation ended, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to focus on my housing shit, my commissions. And no. So this time around, I'm more just friends are good. Friends are good. You don't have to want anything more. And I'm not I'm not looking for that right now. I'm, I'm gotcha. Not, I'm so good. no more random whispers to male auras no, in Limsa. No. No. Maybe bun boys, not not all right anymore. So this is why male auras have a bad <laughs> reputation. It's like these these people in your stories are making it out to be true. They're, the stereotype is true in the, with the male auras. Oh my god, Patrick, can I say something real quick? Yeah. Um, because I know I saw someone in the chat said like I would love to see your housing. Y'all, you guys are at my house right now. I designed <laughs> I designed this current. Um, yeah location. this is this is <laughs> the house rem design that's why we're here Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> it's so 
funny. That's a good thing to. I'm glad you you said that because I, <laughs> I was wondering if you wanted them to know or not. Chat. Those are all of my questions. Did you have any questions for Rem that you wanted to ask based on like Mr. Aura's story or this story? Lay it on me, you guys. Yeah, do it. Don't hold back. Ask Rem anything. The house is so clean. Yeah, I love it. You you did such an amazing job. Thank you guys so much. Oh my god, can y'all not compliment me live, please? <laughs> <laughs> Leave a comment in the book. <laughs> okay, okay. Chat Shatter wants you to say the line. Oh, the the oh but the, the yeah. red chair? Yeah. Go. Oh my god, oh my god. Okay. So, you know, I always leave that red chair on so bitches can have a seat since they can't stand me, okay? <laughs> so, yeah. Yes! We did it! We heard the OB say it! It's true! Oh, they say we love you. Thank you guys so much. Like, okay, so what I try to do when I submit my stories, I don't just want to like bash people or shit talk or anything like mm -hmm. that. I just try to give it from my perspective. And as you guys can see, I'm a very open book, so I don't have anything to hide. You know, I have nothing to hide. So I try to give a more like mature point of view when submitting the experiences that I have, which I think um, most of you uh, appreciate as well. So thank you guys. Oh, um, Cozy is asking, did you ever see a pic of either of the guys that you were talking to? Mr. Aura had um, a kind of like GIF. I don't know if you guys say GIF or GIF, um, mm -hmm. but of like a video of him from like Snapchat, like a short video, he made it into a GIF and he put that on his profile picture. And that's the only um, image IRL that I've seen of either of them. Oh, so, um, Leaf, you never saw anything? No. No video call? Nothing. Yeah, even that GIF could still be kind of fake, fake right? Well. Yeah. Right. You need a video call <laughs> to be 100%. Oh, they want you to say P.O.P. Oh, P.O.P. Pretty on purpose. Y'all, that's not original. I did not come up with that. <laughs> that's from a YouTuber called um, I Am Zoe. But I love him and I love his energy. So, um, yeah. Pretty on purpose. Okay. Pretty on purpose. It works for Final Fantasy fourteen also. Yeah. Okay, well, if there are any last few words or anything you want to plug in before we call it a day, feel free to do it now. Um, I just wanted to say thank you to you, Patra, for giving so many other people to explore some of these situations that they have experienced. Um, I know personally going through some of these things, it's the most stressful and mortifying things to go with and most of them from what i've heard and seen are traumatic they sound traumatic they sound like things that should not happen to people by them playing an online game because it mm. totally breaks through into their real life thankfully i never had it got to that point um but i just wanted to say thank you for giving those people a platform to express themselves and just let out those frustrations you know because it's kind of different from when you're venting to your friends it's like okay I get to sit down and I get to write out my entire emotions of this entire situation and just get it out and release. So it helps give them some closure and growth as well to be able to get over that situation. Um, I just wanted to thank you again for being so amazing um, and just embracing of everyone's um, personality and their characters. I love how despite the situations and the characters in the stories that is submitted, you don't you aren't quick to pass judgment on people. You give everyone a fair chance. And I think that's really bomb for the type of videos and content that you do make. Um, Aww. Uh, last thing, um, I have a housing podcast called the Creative Minds Podcast. And the episodes are on the first and third Saturday every month. So if you have other designers that you love, chances are I will probably interview them on my podcast and you can catch me Ooh. on twitch um twitch.tv slash it's rem and yeah i just wanted to thank you guys for showing me embrace oh i see a comment that i want to address because yeah, it's a good it. question um naro is asking why didn't i confront the lala so mm -hmm, what mm -hmm. i want you guys to know if you are with someone and your partner is involved with other people 
please do not go try to confront the other people. You have no business to them. That person does not owe you anything. So don't make yourself look crazy trying to go witch hunt or try to go versus the person that your partner was supposedly messing with. Don't do that shit. Take your mm. issues up with your partner because at the end of the day, you and them did not get into something else with the other person. So please don't do that. And that's why I did not approach the Lalafell. That bitch mm. don't owe me anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good that's a good answer um we have a question that we missed also it's from raven they mm -hmm. said op were you angry when leaf avoided like the whole question of actually bringing the roommate to the voice call angry no i was kind of like you know when you're asking someone a question but you already know the truth so you can right. kind of just laugh about it mm -hmm. um that's more it was I just thought it was hilarious. Like as annoyed as I was during that entire um, conversation where I called him on VC, I wasn't I wasn't upset at all. I was just kind of like, yes, because he's giving me the answers that I need by not being honest. He's giving me True. closure with that whole situation. So no, I was more. I went from I gradually went from 100 to zero because he was revealing himself to me. So. Yeah, yeah, I was more so thankful. And the stuttering too, you like you said, yeah. like it it just seemed like it was getting more and more obvious that he was just lying to you yeah. right there and then. Okay. Okay, well thank you so much for the interview and uh that's it. That's a wrap. Thank you for having me. It's a pleasure yeah, to be here. Yeah, thanks, Ram. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. You too. Bye guys. Bye. <laughs> well that's it though. Um we read all the stories. We even got a quick, nice, fun interview there with the OP. That is the third OP I have ever gotten on stream. You don't have to come on and have an interview, but if you'd like to, that's an option. But yeah, thank you so much to everyone who submitted stories. I wouldn't even be here reading the stories if it weren't for you guys submitting stories. 